and happy Wednesday night and welcome to our weekly crafty session. My name is Ann Granger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in beautiful Ontario, Canada. I live in a small little village just outside of London, Ontario and I'm excited to be with you. Welcome to my happy place aka my crafting room. I go live every Wednesday night around um, 8 p.m. Eastern Time and I always pick a product of the week and share that product with you. I like to share uh, tips and tricks with you and I give you lots of samples because I'm a true believer that when you see something created more multiple times or uh, gives you a variety of ideas, you're more likely to purchase it. Even for me, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I will look through a catalog and I'll be like, oh no, I do not need that stamp set. I have something similar. And my Stampin' Up! friends start sharing and they show these beautiful samples and then that just changes my mind. If you are watching live, today is Wednesday, May 8th. Cannot believe we are May 8th already. What the heck? If you're watching live, you're going to see the red live button up top. And if you're watching on the replay, shout out to my replay warriors. I am just trying to find myself here on my iPad. Um... And so we know that everything looks great. I see myself. If you're here, comment, say hi, chat with me. It's like we're crafting in my craft room. Please like, comment, and share my video. We want more people in our community, our crafting community, and crafting with us. The more, the merrier. Everyone needs a hobby. I, I, whether you are a gardener, a reader, you like to do puzzles, everybody needs a hobby to just unwind with and crafting is my hobby that I love to unwind. So tonight we are showcasing, actually it is a carryover from the January to April catalog. Many of you know and I've shared with you before, when I get new product it sits in a basket on my shelf and it can't go into my stamp collection until I've created with it. So as I was pulling out my retired stuff, a little below I really hadn't used the ice cream swirl yet I did a class a to go class way back in January with it but I'd never got around to showcasing it in my Facebook live so I thought you know what what a great way to introduce the new 2024 2026 in colors with the new ice cream swirl um, stamp set and dies because a it, the weather's getting warmer here in Ontario it, it was a little cooler today, but yesterday was beautiful. And when the spring weather hits, I don't know about you, but I love to eat ice cream. Like any type of ice cream. Have you seen this new thing going around? I like I need to try and tell my daughter so we can go try them out. But it's like this, they're like ice cream nachos. So you get like this swirl of soft served ice cream. You get like these waffle chips that almost look like nachos. And then you get like caramel sauce to dip in and it's drizzled in chocolate. Like that just does not sound yummy to you. Oh my God, I love chocolate. Anyways, so I wanted to show the new 2024, 2026 in colors. They are gorgeous. They scream summer. They scream fun. They're vibrant. They're beautiful. And I am going to tell you a color that I've actually been using a lot of that I didn't think I would. Um, so we're using the Ice Cream Swirl stamp set and dies. They did carry over into the 2020 for annual catalog and I'm going to share with that and I have lots of projects to sh like share with you and I also have some new embossing folders some tips along the way so let's get started I'm going to flip my camera and we're going to um, go down like I'm gonna flip my camera down so we can get started crafting if you're here say hi please comment please chat with me um, interact with me that makes the videos so much more fun and share my videos we want more people crafting with us all right so let's flip my camera you're going to see my blinds I wish I could show you the beautiful outside uh, but I get the evening Sun and literally it like beams in my face I just can't craft in when it's in my face it's way too much okay here is this month's host code there is my information for ordering and if you're here, say hi. I think uh, everything looks good. I think I might just be a little, let me just see. Let's bring in so. All right, so last week, I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. Last week, I did uh, a catalog walkthrough of our new annual catalog. It has a very different feel to it. And one that, um, it, you know, people, you either, People are either liking it or not. It's totally, it's totally up to you. 
but uh, I love it. The more and more I look through it, and actually just trying to make my camera view here good. Um, oh, I think I'm crooked. Maybe I can look. Um, a lot of my customers have messaged me and said they've received their catalogs in the mail and they are loving it. They are saying they love the layout and everything. So if you want to see how I tabbed my videos and do a walkthrough and explain some of the reasons behind it, make sure you go back and check my video from last Wednesday. I've uploaded it to YouTube. It's also on my blog. My blog is www.sanfortheand.com. So anyways, let's get started. So tonight I am sharing with you the ice cream swirl and the ice cream swirl dies. This stamp set was in a January to April catalog and I'm so happy it, it carried over um, because I didn't really get to use it, but I'm super excited to be using it today because I'm gonna pair it with the new 2024 in colors. So let me show you where you can find this. That is actually in the section called Encore and Encore just means they've come back and you will find it on page 77. So Unfortunately, when they carry over into a new catalog, they're not bundled. So the stamp set is there and the dies are there. And then the uh, in colors, let's go to the color families that we are going to be introducing to you tonight are these ones right here. You'll find all that information on 139. Uh, so we're using Pretty Pink, Peach Pie, Shy Shamrock, Summer Splash, and Petunia Pop. Those are the in colors we are using. And I will share some of the stuff along the way. So, I will talk about that in a minute. So let's get started with our project. And then I'll show you some stuff along the way. So tonight's project was actually, uh, I got the inspiration from um, the layout inspiration. I kind of liked what she did and I switched it up, but from my friend Lena, so shout out to Lena. Thank you, Lena, for sharing with me. Um, I will showcase all these measurements. All these measurements will be posted on my blog um, and I will link this video. I'll upload this video to YouTube and I will link that video to my blog so it'll show you where everything is. So I am using a thick white five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of basic white that's four by five and a quarter. And then I have little strips of paper of cardstock that is um, half an inch by five and a quarter. And these are the new beautiful um, in colors for 2024, 2026. So what are an in color? You're probably thinking, well, Ann, like what kind of jargon are you using? What, what is an in color? So that is where stamp, we have, let me back it up. We have core color families. So we have 40 in col 40 colors that are core colors. Actually, in Stampin' Up! just added a new one, which is basic beige. Um, and they're core colors that are made up into color families. So we have brights, we have regals, we have subtles, and we have neutrals. And you'll find colors in there. What Stampin' Up! does is every year they release five new in colors that they think, whoa, these are going to be the hottest new colors of the year. And then those colors are around for two years and then they retire and then they'll bring another new set of colors. I have to tell you, I was in, um, here in Canada, we have a store called Home Sense, which is actually my favorite store. It's just a, like a little mix of everything. And I couldn't believe the blues and oranges out. Like it was just in vibrant colors. They were just everywhere. I was just like, Oh my gosh, so much inspiration in a store. Just take a camera, take your phone and take some pictures and you will find some, like all these fun, um, these fun ideas. Okay, so let me uh, find a piece of paper here. We'll just use this for now. All right, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go this way. We are going to glue these down and I am going to go in this order. So this is Petunia Pop. It is like a purplish color and we're gonna go this way next we're gonna go with summer splash which is a beautiful color like a it's like almost like a coastal cabana it's pretty too very oceany good for scrapbooks um, me being Irish I love this one it's shy shamrock which is a good color too we're just going to pull it up here and I probably should have came down a little bit more but that's okay then we're gonna go with peach pie who doesn't love a good peach on a hot summer day 
And then we're going to go with Pretty in Pink. So if you've been around for a while, Stampin' Up! actually brought Pretty in Pink back. Oh, I should have went down a little bit lower, but that's okay. I might start it this way. Um, <clears throat> Pretty in Pink was a, a past color. They retired it, but they brought it back. So I'm super glad to have a baby color. Okay, so you're probably thinking, well, Ann, that doesn't really look like anything. You're right, it doesn't. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and we're just going to cut off these pieces here. Just try and make sure you cut along your, not your paper. So let me just pull this here. Um, oh, I see I went too low. That's okay. And we're just going to cut these here. And this is like an idea you could totally do whether you were a card maker or a scrapbooker. Um, you could totally use this idea. Okay, so we're just going to bring this in. And I'm actually going to bring in my big stamp and cut machine. So here is my stamp and cut. And I'm going to take these plates out. So when you buy our stamp and cut machine, you actually get all the plates you need. So you get the platform, you get like a shimmy, and you get the two clear... Um, the two clear plates. So what I'm going to show you tonight is, actually let me just pull this back for a minute so I can show you, is our new embossing folders. So Stampin' Up! comes out with some new embossing folders. I love embossing folders because I think they make a simple card turn into a beautiful card. And all it is is like you just emboss a piece of paper. We have two new ones that are very big which are ideal if you are a card maker or a scrapbooker. These are six by eight and a half, so they're the exact same size as our stamp and cut plate. So they fit like that. We have two that were just released with the, J, uh, the, the annual catalog, and this one is dotted circles, and I just got this one yesterday, and it's called So Swirly which is perfect for the ice cream syrup. Now this one is a thick one, so you can see it's a little thicker. So it's a 3D embossing. And then this is just one of our single ones. Um, but I wanna show you like, this is what it looks like done. That's the Shy Shamrock with, with the dotted circles. And then I just like show you some other ones because I feel like seeing things. This is the Candy Cane, cane Weave. That's in the pretty in the pink, because that's just your color. This is the Distressed Tile in the um, Peach Pie. And, and it's funny because on the screen it looks more yellowish, but it is peach. Uh, this is the Fern Embossing Folder done in um, Coastal Cabana, which is very pretty. And then this one is Petunia Pop, which is done in Painted Textures. Painted Textures actually carried over into our online exclusive, onto our online exclusive section in our online store. So you will find some things in our online store and you will find some things in our catalog. If it's in our online exclusives, that means you will find it nowhere in a catalog. It's only online. So those are super great. So tonight we are actually going to use the dotted circle. So what we're going to do is we brought in, we've glued all those down and I'm actually going to just put this like this and we're going to put that in. So we're going to bring this big one in. So because this is a big thick one, you're going to use plate one, your embossing folder, and then you're going to use this gray plate, which is number four. We're going to roll it through. Okay. And then we're just going to do some, um, we're going to do some die cutting here for a minute, but let me show you. Look how cool that is. Like, we just embossed, so taking strips of paper, adding them, and you can emboss it to create like a full, um, really cool background. So we're going to set this aside and we're going to come back to it, but I really want to show you some other things. Let me put that one away. We're going to bring back in, and we're just going to do some regular cutting now. So we're going to use plate one, plate two, and you can tell my plates are well loved. We're going to use the cutting plates. I am using Petunia Pop, and I have to tell you, I'm not really a purple person per se, but I've been using this Petunia Pop along a lot. I don't know if it's like a purplish pink, um, but it's a really beautiful color. And as I said, I've been using it quite a bit. Um, 
and you'll see that when I share my samples with you tonight. So we are using the deckled rectangles. You can find them in the catalog. Okay, so we're gonna use the third biggest one and then this one. So I'm just gonna put that over here. So let's pull in this deckled rectangle. We're using Petunia Pop, which is one of the new 2024, 2026 in colors. All right, so let's put that back. And then we have here, so this is what that looks like. I love these deckled rectangles, and they also have deckled circles. So the deckled circles are really nice, especially if you're a scrapbooker. I'm gonna put that off to the side, and I'm gonna put that back there. We don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna use, bring in this white. I'm actually gonna do a couple things here. So we're gonna use this one. And we're also using the something, something Fancy dies. These also carried over. And I'm using this little label right here. So while we're doing that, we're going to do them both at the same time. Saves our cutting. Hello, Debbie. How are you tonight? Thank you for joining us. All right, so there is our basic white deckled, and we have our label. So we're gonna get all our cutting done and get it out of the way. Always get in the habit of putting your dies back onto your um, whatever you use. I use the magnetic sheets from Stampin' Storage. They're like chipboard, I love them. I have all my things, and then I label them. And I actually label them with um, a Dymo maker a hand towel maker and I write how many dies are on them just so when I am doing a class or tidying up or take these to a crop, I can actually count before I pack up how many are here. So I know if I'm missing one, it's easier to look for it then to go back through a garbage. So definitely make sure you do that. It's just a little tip I give you um, for that. Okay, so before we continue, we are going to bring in the so ice cream swirl dies. We're going to use this one. That reminds me of a soft serve. And we're going to cut that out. So just, like I said, we're gonna get all our cutting out of the way here. Okay, so there's that one. There's our ice cream swirl. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this one, which is the die cut. So this is like the swirl part. And we're gonna use pretty in pink. Just as a really nice baby color. I just, I did an order in April. So as a demonstrator, you get to pre-order. So I got to pre-order from the catalog and I just actually ordered mostly the in colored stuff because I knew that's what I would be focusing on first. And then I ordered um, another order which arrived yesterday and it is showcasing the, um, oh, I got the Country Bird bundle, which is like my favorite. So I'll probably be doing projects with that next week. I'm super excited. I love birds. And I can see them out my front window and it makes my heart happy. Okay, so there is the ice cream swirl die cut. Um, just makes it look like top of an ice cream cone. So we're going to put that there. And we have one more thing to do and we're going to cut out our an ice cream. So how that's going to work is, we're going to put this down, and we can actually do them together. Just so, uh, yeah, oh, you, uh, you know what? I'm going to do them separate because I don't want to waste that much paper. Okay, so we're gonna put that down like that. I use just Posty tape, you can get it at your local supply store. I'm sure that big shopping store you buy online from, you can get it there. It just helps hold the dies in place. So what we're doing is we're cutting out, sorry, we're not cutting out, we're embossing with this die here, an ice cream cone. So you can see that it looks like that, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our ice cream, and we're going to, let's put my paper down here a little bit. We're gonna put this in here, and I'm going to line up these bumps with the side, and then that for the top, and I will put this down just to hold it. 
Okay, I'm gonna emboss that. If you are loving these new in colors, so over there is Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Peach Pie, um, Peach Pie, Summer Slash, and um, my Shamrock, then all I've got to do for you is let me share. Oh, I have to put that back over there. Okay, we have all of our pieces. So what we did was, we actually cut, we embossed the ice cream cone first, and then we cut it out to make it look like an ice cream cone. How sweet is that? But we're not actually gonna use the ice cream cone. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So let me move this up. Well, let me just share this with you quickly. So right now, during the month of May, Stampin' Up! has this beautiful starter kit promotion. So what does that mean? That means you buy a starter kit and you become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the Stampin' Up! community. You pick out $165 worth of product, whatever you want. Just get it as close to $165 as you can because you can't go over. You get free shipping and then you get some catalogs and things that you could do to you know give out to your family and friends. But then for the month of May, when you choose to become a demonstrator, you get to this starter kit special in color special pro promotion which is a value of almost like $113. You're going to get all the new 2024 in colors, ink pads, cardstock, DSP, and the markers. That's a pretty good deal. So all together, it's all over like $250 value for like $135. If this is something that interests you, my team, Stamp to Create, would love to have you. We are a group of lovely ladies here in Canada. Um, most are local, but we do have some on the West Coast. And uh, we would just love to have you join us. We we meet we meet monthly. You know, if you're, we meet monthly, we have swaps, we have created challenges, we have daily posts on our Facebook group. We are really, truly a tribe. and. I always say to the ladies, what makes you stay around? And they're always like, the friendship, the community, the discount. So A, if you have a huge shopping list, if you've gone through the catalog and you're like, oh my gosh, I love this catalog, I have a huge shopping list, this deal is for you. Or if you plan to spend a lot in the next three months, this deal is for you. We would love to have you. So please let me know. You can reach out to me. Um, and you can also go to my blog, www.stampwithann.com and click join my community. All right, so let's get back to our card. So we have done this. We embossed with the dotted embossing, dotted spots. What is it called? Dotted, dotted circles. We have done this in a deckled rectangle and we're going to go put this one down. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two down. We're just going to, and we'll assemble the card in a minute. So let's just, I'm using just our seal. We'll put this down. So this is the Petunia Pop. As I said, this was one color I didn't think I would use a lot and I have. We're going to create a bowl from our ice cream cone. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just cut down here. And I'm going to come across and I'm going to cut here. That creates like a little Sunday bowl. So we're gonna put that there. Now we're going to come in and use our glue. I have to show you my new little glue holder. I had a scrapbooking crop back in April. It was my big fundraiser crop I do every year for the cardiac rehab program up at St. Joe's Hospital here in London, Ontario. And our theme was trusty tools and I wanted to give everybody tools for their pillow gift. So we found these, they're called garden weeders. weeders. Um, they're more for like vinyl, but I was like, these work perfect. They actually suction to your paper or to your desk and it holds your glue. So if you're looking for those, you can find them. Uh, we found them at a local store in Woodstock, but I'm sure you can find them on that big, you know, web store online. Okay, so I'm just putting some glue. I'm not doing a lot because I hate getting my hands wet. I don't, I'm not very faint. Hi, Melissa. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Cindy. Thanks for joining us tonight. 
All right, so there is our ice cream swirl and my trusty glue. I put it on my desk. I, usually, I had a hard time getting it off my desk. And then I moved it and I stuck it on my ink pad. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even get it off my ink pad. It stuck so much. Okay, I am going to put some glue here and we're going to glue this and this together. Just like that. And we're gonna pop this up. So let's get our dimensionals. I know Melissa, she was at our crop and um, she got one of those glues. I would love to, glue holders, I would love to know, Melissa, are you enjoying it? Okay, can never have enough glue dot dimensional, so let's just go down here. Listening to you while I craft and get caught up. Oh, thanks for joining us, Cindy. Yes, you've been away. Um, probably feels like you need to work in your room for a whole month to get caught up. Um, Cindy is a fellow demonstrator and friend, and we chat regularly. All right, so there is our, that's the one thing I love about Stampin' Up. I have to say about it, it's all the friendships I made. I can't believe the friendships I've made across the world. I often think, wow, if it wasn't for ink, paper, and stamps, I never would have met this person. So I think that is truly great, a blessing. That's one of the blessings I love about stamping up. And I'm truly grateful for all my friendships. All right, so we're going to pop that up. I'm going to go, I'm going to go this way. I just take these off. So I just have like a little container. You could use this little glue thing as a garbage too, but I think the dimensionals would be hard to get out of it. Um, so I prefer that. All right, so let's make sure we stay straight. We're gonna put that down. And uh, we can go ahead and glue this onto our card base. As I said, I will post all these measurements. This video will be up on my blog at some, before the end of the weekend. Um, and I do have some other samples to share with you, so I will post those up. But I will put us all the measurements for this, because then it's kind of like, um, uh, it's like a free tutorial for you. All right, so we have that. Now, let me bring that piece of paper back in. Where did I put it? And I'm gonna bring in our little label that we've already die cut out. And I'm going to use, um, so let me see if we're done with those. The stamp set that I am using, love the end colors. Yes, Melissa, me too, they're beautiful. Which one's your favorite? I am using the best family ever stamp set. This was actually in our annual catalog last year and carried over. If you are a scrapbooker or a card maker, this is one stamp set you're gonna want in your collection. Look at all the greetings you have that you can customize your card for your grandma, your grandpa, your husband, your nephew, your mom. You could do great aunt, great aunt, great uncle, daughter-in-law, brother-in-law, there's cousin, sister, wife, baby, there's so much you can do. And then they have these fun. So I was looking for just a cute little birthday card, birthday greeting, and I was like, oh right, I remember I have this stamp set. So this is a great stamp set. If you do not have it, you're gonna wanna add it in your collection because it is a beautiful one. All right, so we are using the happy birthday and we're using pecan pie, which is a beautiful color. And we're gonna stamp just on our labels, so stamp right there. I always get in the habit of taking this off and putting it back into my case. These things are jelly-like, and trust me, they will stick to whatever it wants to stick to. Um, Melissa says Summer Splash and Petunia Pop. Yes, those are great colors. I was saying earlier, Melissa, I'm not sure if you were on at that time. I didn't think I would like Petunia Pop, but I am using it more and more. It's crazy. Okay, so let's bring this back in and I'm just going to glue this down. All right, just like this. We're just gonna put that right across there. All right, so we did use this. I also showed you this so, so swirly um, embossing folder. I'm gonna show you a card that I made with that. So that's one of our big ones. They're six by eight and a half. I'm super excited, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so let me get you my samples. Oh, and I wanted to show you a couple other things. Okay, so 
I've heard many of you say you're missing the in color or the colors on the um, in the catalog. So let me show you what I mean. Mm -hmm. I have to grab my catalog here. Oh, stick into my desk. So on my things, I just tag it. I look for embellishments and I, I can easily turn it. This is what I love. So on here, in our past catalog, Stampin' Up! would write what the colors were in those in the embellishments, and they haven't. And I truly love that, and I know a lot of people have. So if it's something you miss, suggest it to Stampin' Up!, sandbox it, or suggest and box it. So what I did was I actually took, I've actually found it really nice compared to a Sharpie marker, was our basic black Stampin' Right marker. And I just wrote 2024 in colors. Actually, I should write shimmer gems. I wrote the colors on them so I know. I will do this with all of my embellishments that I get. And I just tuck them into our clear envelope and they can sit in a basket. They can sit in a drawer, whatever you like. So I did it also here and I meant to write the other names of it. So let me show you what I did. That's just a great little tip. I will take a picture of those and post it. We are going to use these little sparkly gems here. Just add a little bit of bedazzle to our ice cream. As I said, I don't know about you, but I love ice cream. Uh, our, we have a little local place here in town. It's called the Frozen Cow and they just opened up. I'm so excited. My favorite is Moose Tracks which is vanilla and chocolate, chocolate swirls mixed with peanut butter cups. It's like my favorite. All right, so what do you think? There is our project tonight showcasing the beautiful 2024 in colors, but paired it with ice cream swirl because I truly look, when I look at these colors, I think of ice cream flavors. Like, I don't know, maybe raspberry. That could be like... Um, like a sherbet. This could be like mint chocolate. Chip. This could be like a mint chocolate chip. Um, either of these, like you could get like a nice orange sickle or peach one. And then this is like obviously strawberry or something. I just think of like in. So there is our card. But I wanted to share with you. So here is, I'll just show you the other sample I made. Just show you how they look very different but similar. So those are the ones we made, to, like this one we made tonight. That was my sample. So I'll put that there. Let me show you some other cards. This one was created by my team, mate, team member, Shonda. We do monthly swaps in our team, and you can choose to sign up if you want. Um, and this one was one she gave us in one of the swaps we did this year. And this uses the um, Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper. It carried over. On these, these are the tinsel gems they carried over. So everything over here carried over. So that's just another way of showing you the ice cream. Uh, this one, I was just playing around, like trying to make samples to share with you. This one uses that painted texture, pulled in that pretty in pink, pulled in those gems I just shared with you. But this paper here is actually the Latte Designer Series paper. They have two papers that look like swirls. And I thought, oh, those are great ice cream colors. So there's that one. Both showcasing cones. This one was one that I kind of cased off myself. Um, so I paired it with um, Costa Cabana, not Costa Cabana, Summer Splash, Shy Shamrock, and Petunia Pop. And then I stamped in Petunia Pop and I brought in the things. So I just made like a fun ice cream sundae. Can you tell I got ice cream on my mind? Like, I think I definitely need an ice cream sundae. And then, the last card I want to show you actually uses the 2024-2026 Designer Series paper. So let me show you what that quickly looks like. I just got it. I'm super excited. Um, so it has, you get four sheets. One, two, three, four of two different patterns. So this is pattern one. It has the circles. Or you can flip it. This reminds me of like a backsplash. Very pretty. Or you can get stripes or flowers. So pretty cut. And the reason why I'm showing you this is you'll see in a minute. So here is the peach pie in those colors. So peach pie and then that. 
Here is Shy Shamrock in these colors, or that. Isn't that pretty? Here is Petunia Pop. So this is the 2024-2026 Designer Series paper pack. It's a six by six. I will be putting out a last call for my In Color Club if you're interested. And you know what? You, if you're also loving these colors, you could get add the starter kit because you would get these for free. Um, there's that and that. So the reason why I'm showing you these is because I want to show you this card that I made. So every Tuesday night in my Stamped to Create group, I go live in our Facebook group and I come on and I talk to them about weekly updates from Stampin' Up. I talk about things that are happening on the team and I always end our night with a stamping project. And I try to like to do mystery or fancy folds or just give them really ideas. And whatever I'm using in my business, so whatever products product of the week I'm sharing with you I share it with them and then I share them samples because just the same way the more you see a sample or the more you see samples of a product the more likely you are going to purchase it so the one that I made last night was this fancy fold um, it uses just a card base I used that paper but here's the thing you create this little pocket and I wanted to use the stripes, but then I looked in there and I was like, ooh, flowers, flowers, ice cream, didn't really drive. So I looked at the patterns again and I was like, no, wait, this looks like little, almost like a backsplash on a counter. So I used Summer Splash and I paired it with pink, pretty pink, brought in a pecan pie and I stamped in, um, Petunia Pop. And then this is that new border ribbon. So this is a summer splash border ribbon. But how fun is that? Like a cute little card that just opens like this. You could easily fit a gift card in here. Maybe you're going to give them a gift card to your favorite ice cream store or um, maybe a gift card to go buy some ice cream at the grocery store. And you can write your little message here. So there's the one card. And then here's the other one that I made with my team last night. So just showing you. So there is let's see two one two three four five different ways of using the ice cream swirl bundle paired with the 2024 2026 in colors as i said this stamp set did carry over from january to april so maybe you already have it maybe you needed some fresh new ideas if you do not have it and you would like to purchase it Go to my blog, www.stampwithann.com, click shop now, and you're going to go to my online store, online website, so where you can shop Stampin' Up. You could order whatever you want. Don't forget to use this host code for May. And um, anyone who spends over 50 in the month of May, they will get a free pack of embellishments is my way of saying thank you, plus a card in the mail. But if you're like, oh my gosh, Ann, those in colors are beautiful, I need to have them, then take advantage of the starter kit special. Come join our team. We would love to have you. If you are a person who is looking for a hobby or you're looking for some new friends, you want to be a part of a community that has like the same mindset, like crafting mindset, you're looking for fresh ideas you want a discount on your orders, you want a sneak peek, you want to be able to attend events with your friends, then this is for you. Honestly, I just celebrated my 17th year yesterday as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I honestly, truly cannot imagine Stampin' Up! not in my life. The friendships is a blessing. That is just, honestly, my favorite part of Stampin' Up! is the friendships I've met around the world since doing this adventure. So, does anyone have any questions or comments? Let's go back. Uh, oh, thanks, Melissa. It is I will be posting that on my blog. So these, uh, I will post this sample and I will post, uh, I already did one. I think I did this one already. So I will post a couple more samples uh, before the end of the weekend. So make sure you check my blog and on social media. And as I said, I will upload this one, but I will post this one along with the measurements for you guys. That is all I have for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys had a great time crafting with me. Um, it's just like you're in my craft room or at a class, we're crafting. 
If there is products you would like to see used, let me know if I have them. I will incorporate them into my weekly plan. And if not, I will look at maybe purchasing them and incorporating them into my, or if there's a technique or some cool thing out there you want to see done, message me and I'll try to figure it out and add it into my schedule. Um, I'm working behind the scenes on some, some, some things and I'm hoping maybe to roll them out in the next little bit. But I'm looking forward to sharing this beautiful annual catalog with you for the next year. Um, it truly is an amazing catalog. Yes, it takes a lot to get used to, but I'm excited to show you the content that's inside. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on this stamp and stamp and trap. This crafty session. I will be back next Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And I believe next week we will be using the Country Bird stamp set. Let me show you what that one looks like. That is part of the Country Woods Suite. Let me find it here. Uh, Country Woods Suite. So this is the one we're going to showcase next week. Is this one right here. With this designer series paper. And this embossing folder and I will be adding this one too because this one's a beautiful one too so watch for those next week I'm excited I wish everyone a wonderful rest of the week have a beautiful weekend celebrating with your families and don't forget to take lots of pictures and I will see you guys all next week have a great rest of your evening everyone thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you next Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time bye everyone